the World Agroforestry Center a craft in Cameroon will officially be launched tomorrow in Yaoundé by the Minister of Scientific Research and Innovation, Madeleine Twente. On the eve of the event, the Board of Trustees of ICRAF and researchers from the head office in Kenya went on a field trip with the staff of the West and Central Africa Regional Office in Yaoundé to see how the organization has been transforming lives and landscapes in Cameroon. George Kelong accompanied the ICRAF delegation to some localities in the Central and West regions and came back with the following report. At a private nursery at Makenene and on a demonstration farm at Farmver Bangwa, representatives of the beneficiary communities explained how propagation techniques like macotting and grafting imparted to them by ICRAF are being used to domesticate indigenous fruit trees, medicinal plants, spices and vegetables, and with early fruiting trees, which in some cases bear fruits of high quality three times a year, mostly when fruits are available on the market, the peasant farmers say their lives have really been transformed as this invited beneficiary here testifies. I'm George, coordinator of the Riba Agroforestry Resource Center in Kumbu. Since 2003, we use the vegetative propagation techniques that we got from ICRA. Local people who cannot even read and write can do the practical work themselves and they see the benefits. The success story, according to the chair of the Board of Trustees of ICRA, Professor Eric Tollens, is due mainly to the fact that beneficiaries know exactly what to do. Trees serve so many different purposes, and the choice of the right tree in the right place is what we are working on in ICRAF. This is our challenge, to make the landscapes greener, the land more fertile and more durable. As ICRAF celebrates its 25th anniversary in Cameroon, the West and Central Africa Regional Coordinator of the organization, Dr. Zach Chunja, says they are preoccupied with the sustainability of the project. If you will provide everything to the farmer, the day we stop giving things, the project will fall. It is 50-50% contribution. In all, more than 400 farmers groups in Cameroon are now domesticating trees with high nutritional, medicinal and economic values thanks to ECRAF and its 17 relay organizations. George.